Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillahi wa ala ali wa sahbihi ajma'in wa ba'd. So this is hadith number 65 in the title in the, from daily hadith. And the title of this is Message to Imams. All right, because this is uh, regarding the salat and how we're supposed to pray. And, you know, as far as if you're an imam in the masjid, how you should deal with the people is in regards to the prayer, you know, making it long or making it too short or how to do it, inshallah. Because, uh, you know, obviously we go, we follow the sunnah. We don't follow the whims and the desires of the people just because uh, some lazy people complain that the salat is too long. We're not going to leave the salat because of some lazy people. But, you know, uh, we're also not going to make the salat longer than what the Prophet Sallallahu did to cause discomfort for the people. So this hadith on Abi Hurairah radiallahu anhu, and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam qala, إِذَا صَلَّ أَحَدَكُمْ لِلنَّاسِ فَلْيُخَفَّفْ فَإِنَّ فِيهِمَ الضَّعِيفَ وَالسَّقِيمُ وَالْكَبِيرُ وَإِذَا صَلَّ أَحَدَكُمْ لِنَفْسِهِ فَلْيَطَوِّلْ مَا شَاءَ مُتَّفَقٌ عَلَيْهِ all right, so Abu Hurairah, he reported that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, if a, if a person from amongst you prays with the people, that means that he's the Imam and he's leading the Salat with the people. He said, فَلْيُخَفَّفْ فَلْيُخَفَّفْ It means to make it light. Now this does not mean that you get up in the Salat and start reading, you know, Surah Al-Asr or Surah Al-Ikhlas, you know, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدِ This does not mean keep it, you know, takhfif like this. Takhfif, it means especially, you know, takhfif in regards to what the sunnah is. All right, and as we know, for Dhuhr, for Dhuhr and Asr, that the Prophet ﷺ used to pray in Dhuhr and Asr, you know, what would what would equate to Surah Al-Sajdah. All right, and of course we know that in Fajr, the Prophet ﷺ used to pray from 60 to 100 ayahs in, in Fajr, which is a, the equivalent about depending on what surah you're reading from, but he would read from like, you know, Surah Al-Baqarah, Surah Ali Imran, Surah Al-Nisa. So you're looking at like five to seven pages in Surah al and, and Salat Al-Fajr. All right, in Salat Al-Maghrib, he would read like a Dariyat, you know, and uh, you know, and uh, those, uh, those types of surahs, like as far as lengthwise. And then in Salat Al-Isha, he would keep it lighter, you know. So this is the Sunnah, and this is the Takhfif. So this doesn't mean the takhfif like you get into like Salat al-Dhuhr and you know, you, wala dhalin, ameen, kulu wallahu ahad, allahu samad, lam yulad, walam yulad, walam yakulu kufu wana, allahu akbar, sami allahu liman hamad. That's not takhfif. That's what? Huh? That's, that's, the, that's that chicken pecking, you know? The chicken. That's the, you know, the naqra deek. You know, and this is, this is the Salat is batila. All right, so if we, if we the type of takhfif that the, that the Prophet Sallallahu was talking about is takhfif in regards to what? To the sunnah. Because some of the, you know, some one of the companions, he got up amongst the people and he prayed Salat Aisha with them. And he had already prayed with the, the Prophet Sallallahu and he went to his people and he read Surah Al-Baqarah. All right, and this is where the, the order for takhfif came down because of that. Obviously, we're not going to go up in Salat, Salat al-Isha and read Surah al-Baqarah. That would, you know, that would, like, right now, nobody would pray in this masjid ever again, you know, if we did that. So, could you imagine that? We'd be standing just in the first rakah alone for more than an hour. You know, so, yeah, that's uh, that's serious, right? It's, you know, subhanAllah. So, the takhfif in regards, like, we, we do it in line with the sunnah. So, he said, Because amongst the people, there is the weak person, والسقيم, the sick person, وَالْكَبِيرُ and the old person. وَإِذَا صَلَّ أَحَدَكُمْ لِنَفْسِهِ And if you pray for, uh, with your, you know, by yourself, فَلْيَطَوَّ uh, الْمَا Then you can pray as much as you want. You want to pray Surah Al-Baqarah in the first rakah and Surah Ali Imran in the second rakah? Do what you wish. Like when we pray at night, خلاص, we pray. We don't care what the people say. That's this. Is, you, you want to come, you come. You want to go home, go home. But we're going to pray the way that we pray. But the rest of the Salah, we're not going to pray like that. We're not going to get up and read a juz. And then, you know, in, in the first rakah, like we did in the, in, in the night prayer. So, I mean, this is a difference. But we still keep it within the confines of the sunnah. So, inshallah, that's, that's, that's the takhfif. That's the, the command of takhfif in this regards is for that. And Allah knows best.